Good evening, friends, family, friends of family, guests, sponsors, and supporters, and welcome to the 10th Shakespeare Schools Festival South Africa, and our very first virtual experience. <laughs> this year has been a roller coaster of a year due to the global pandemic called COVID-19. It has pushed many of us into difficult situations and we, as the Shakespeare Schools Festival team, would like to send those affected by the pandemic love, light, support and good health in this trying time. This year, the festival is celebrating our 10th year running and we would like to thank you for celebrating it with us. My name is Adam Khaidil and I'll be your virtual MC. You see, the Shakespeare Schools Festival is extremely close to my heart as I too am a proud graduate of the festival but we'll get into a little bit more about that later. Our participants have been working extremely hard, learning new skills, thinking outside the box, changing their plays and taking their adaptations from the stage to the screen worldwide. We encourage you to scream, laugh, cry, but most importantly, to show your love and support to these wonderful, young, talented performers in the comment section down below. And if you're in the position to donate, please consider supporting the festival as we have been trying extremely hard to support our participants, our crew members during this tough economic climate. Anything will go a long, long way and we will be greatly appreciative. Please make sure to follow us on all social media platforms so that we can spread your love and support and make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag SSFSA20. And now, without any further ado, let's kick off the festival and welcome Ekruleni Teens. Come on, Anthony. There's so much more reason for you to be happier. You're rich, handsome, listed as Forbes' most influential men, and you go to the most extravagant parties of the decade. Not to mention the women that are practically throwing themselves at you every day. Hello, you get to play bachelor every single day. Listen, man, all those things are great, I know, but they're so superficial. I could have 10 more zeros in my bank account, be on the cover of a hundred more magazines or have thousands of women, thousands of women lining up for me. But if I hold no value to them, then they mean nothing to me. Man, oh, you're such a bore. You are living the life that most people dream of. But here you are, being so melancholy and philosophical, dampening the mood all over the place. Maybe they can help. Let's go specifically. Clearly, we're not of any good use to this depressing, depressing man. Great party last night, guys. Sihle, my girl. You are a beast. You are a legend. Grayson, you and those parties, no woman of high standards, as they should be, would ever fall in love with a guy like you. Lies. The woman who marries me will be just as crazy as I am. And then all of you will be shook when I get married and have little crazy children running around. Sure, if that happens, I'll sign all my shares of the team. They do say lo love is blind, so you might just lose a huge amount on that lady here. We'll have to see one day. Hey, Grayson, we need to leave. The meeting's about to start. <sighs> you know what? Fine. Anthony, sorry we couldn't help you in lifting your spirits. Bandile, get this man happy, okay? Bandile, my favorite friend. You look as though you need to get something off your chest. What's up? Okay, remember last year when we went to that Nkosi fundraiser for children in need? Oh, of course, of course. You were raving about that woman you met. Priscilla Nkosi, capture of my heart. Drop dead gorgeous. Supreme intellect. Truly the only woman I could ever love. Yes, that woman. So her father recently passed. I know, very sad. And he said, if any person 
wishes to marry his daughter, they have to undergo a certain challenge. And I am up for that challenge. However, even though I want to look the part, my bank account doesn't really agree with that right now. So say no more, my friend. I'd love to help you. However, my financial advisor advised not to withdraw large amounts of money right now. My credit has been bad with the lavish spending lately. But no worries, we can just get a loan from Shamar. Rastafarian guy, I thought you didn't like him. I do not. But I won't let my feelings for that dog get in the way of you marrying the woman of your dreams. Look, I love my dad more than anything in this world, but this stipulation is insane. I mean, look at me. I am Priscilla Gossi. I worked my way to the top, made my first million at 21, qualified for a position at Gossi Enterprises, not given, qualified, run a multi-million company on the side, and now the CEO of Gossi Enterprises. And now for some men to marry you, what they have to do is choose from a tiny mini box? Exactly. And I don't even get a say. Do you know how backwards that is? Do I look like I need a man? I mean, do you not see how far I've come without one? I don't need someone to come in here thinking they can tell me what to do. Do you remember that guy you met at the fundraiser um, not so long ago you were talking about for weeks? Oh, you mean Bandi Lento? I mean, I wouldn't mind if he came. Plus, no one has chosen the correct box, so it's not like I'm getting married anytime soon. Remember the last guy who tried to marry you? Uh, no, I refuse to recall that event. Thank you very much. Uh -uh. Remember Mr. Mahesh san how he chews his mouth open? And remember how he forgot what you were doing for a living? And remember what he said to you about a good wife who was wanting to stay at home and all he had to do was provide, provide. Priscilla, do you remember that, hey? You know what, Vanessa? Clearly you want me to throw up right here. Tabiso Matlala's name should never be mentioned around me or in this office ever again, please. Hi, Ms. Ngosi. I just received a phone call from Mr. Kingston's office saying that he'll be on his way to, as they put it, try his hand at the challenge. Thank you, Bethany. V Vine Kingston, at least he's cute. Sure, but he has the biggest, most fragile ego known to mankind. God, I hope he doesn't pick the correct box. Welcome in, gentlemen. Make yourself at home. <clears throat> Please, sit down. Would, but I don't want my brand new pants to get any weed remnants or dirt on them. As you wish. What could I help you with? Hi, Vin. Nice to see you again. Of course it is. Aren't you going to offer me a drink? Some champagne would be great. Sleepy. Beth, could you please get Mr. Kingston here a glass of champagne? Now, Vin, I'm sure you know that if you fail, you'll have to sign over 30% of your business to Ngozi Enterprises. I do, but that doesn't seem like it's going to be happening. Let's get going, shall we? Where are the boxes? Oh, it's a loan you need. Anthony, you haven't been telling people about my work of line is uncivilized, and they should look down upon. <laughs> That's in the past, right, Anthony? Oh no, I still stand by that. You charge people crazy amounts and take their possessions if they can't pay you. How am I any different from a bank? You're a Rastafarian. That's what makes you uncivilized. I would suggest you take your time, you know, just to make sure. I don't need time. I'm confident I know which box it is. Why waste time? Okay then, which box do you pick? The gold one, just has to be. To prove us, to prove that I'm as civilized as you, I will give you the loan without any interest. And what if I don't pay you back? 
relax, fun delay. The way my investments are going, I could pay this man a thousand times over. Okay. In the event that you don't pay me back my money, you'll have to give me a pound of your flesh. I don't think you should do that, Anthony. A Rasta with a sense of humor. I like it. Perhaps I misjudged you. Where do I sign? Right there. Two million are a pound of your flesh. What? Oh, well, if you could just hang here, please. I look forward to working with you. Ah, sis, this whole thing's rigged. It's not like I even wanted to marry you anyway. Okay. Bethany will show you the way out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I hate working for that man. Everywhere I go, people just stare at me. Why? Because of that Rastafarian? Everyone knows here that he's uncivilized, with those dreadlocks, that smell, and him smoking God knows what all hours of the day. You know what? That's it. I'm done. I'm going to quit today. No more. I know. I work for Bandile. He's well better received by people and is sure to pay me better. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Excuse me, sir. You know I can find Lawrence. He works for Shamar, the Rastafarian. Maybe you know who he is. Yes. My own father doesn't even recognize me because he's going blind in both eyes. Let's play a little game with him. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, Mr. Lawrence, the millionaire. He lives right down the street. If you turn left, then right, and then at the second roundabout, take the second exit, it'll be to your immediate left. So, sorry, sir. I don't think the person you're talking about is my Lawrence. He's just an assistant to Jamar, not a millionaire. That's me, Lawrence, your son. I don't think so. My son doesn't have your stature. He's a lot bonier than you are. Me, hey, Lawrence. We live in Boxburg. Your wife's name is Maria, and you have four children. Lawrence? Is that really you? How dare you fool your aging father? How are you, though? Your mother and I miss you so much. I wish I could tell you that I'm doing good, but I can't because I've decided to stop working for that ungodly Shamar. Maybe I could get a job with Bandile. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Oh, there he is. Let me go and ask him right now. Mr. Glovu, Mr. Glovu. Hi, my name is Lawrence. I work for Shamar, the Rastafarian. This is my father. Nice to meet you, Lawrence. How can I help? He, he would like to work for you. Oh. Quick learner, and I can type 64 words per minute. Please, we come from a poor home. He will take anything. He just cannot keep working for the devil. Okay, come to my office on Monday and we'll work something out. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you very much. My wife will be very happy to hear that you've helped our son. Bandile, my main man, the man, the myth, the legend. I heard you were going over to Blair Ethel this weekend. Yes, I am. Great. So you wouldn't mind if I came with you, right? Why? Can't a man go support his friend while he's on his way to make the woman of his dreams his fiance? Okay, but you have to promise me something. Anything. You have to. I mean, have to be on your best behavior. Scout on up. Starting tomorrow, because we still have Sisha and Spesisha's party to go to. Of course. If anything, it would be rude for us not to subdue tonight. In fact, let tonight be a celebration of what's about to come. Lawrence, so sad here that you have to leave, but I completely understand why you have to do it. Maybe your life would have been easier. The only thing tying me to him is blood. One day I will be free from him and his immortal ways. Jada! Um, before my father comes, please give this to Lungile. He shouldn't be far from here. Ah. 
I see you're still here. I must tell you all these things you've gotten used to. The arriving late, the missed deadlines. I must tell you, Mr. Bundle is not going to be as lenient as me. My life will be ten times better. Yeah, that my daughter. I've been invited to Lungia's get together. I just need you to be extra vigilant tonight. I have this feeling something's going to happen. Instead, uh, okay, Dad. Lungile, Miss Jada said I should give this to you. Thank you, Lawrence. So, what does it say? What caused such a wide smile, eh, Lungile? Our plans can proceed. Great. Tonight, we commit a heist of grand proportions. Ocean's 11 type intensity. What a time to be alive. And how sure are you that your plan is going to succeed? Oh, and Grayson, Bandila says that he's about to leave with or without you, so get moving. Crap. Sorry, Lumi, I have to catch you another time. Good luck, though. Mr. Ngosi, uh, Mr. Njogu's on his way up. And then, why are you so excited? Why can't a girl be excited for a friend who might get married to the love of her life? <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Hi. But we'll leave you two lovebirds to it. Agreed. No, no. If you don't succeed, I won't be able to marry you. And I'll take a large amount of shares from your company. Don't you want to take time for a minute? <laughs> no, because those few minutes will be the minutes of you not being my fiance. I'm ready to see the chest and make my and make you my future wife. Well, if you're sure. Here you go. Okay. This one. Are you sure? Yes. It's not too flashy, but durable. Only. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no need for all of that. You already know my answer. It looks like you two aren't the only ones with something to celebrate. Look at us, hey? Look at us. Look at us, huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Sisle, is today not a great day? Plans are working. People are getting engaged. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, Spetsy, from what I've seen and heard, I don't think things are going to stay that way. What do you mean? Great. Were you two part of this? Were you two part of this, huh? You and your finger finger friends who did this to me? If you're talking about your daughter, then yes, that was us. Her running away with Lumile has to be the greatest love story of our time. An elopement of the decade. 10 out of 10, no regrets here, sir. That's my daughter, you lucky head. You made my only child run away with your good for nothing friends. Well, sorry for you. Shuma, Shuma, I haven't been able to find Jada yet. And all her clothes are gone from your house. And I saw that she even took your emergency money. Oh, that brat's got what's coming for her. On the plus side, I've heard that Anthony's investments have been plummeting. Some even think that it's going to ruin him financially. <laughs> Karma is a sweet, sweet thing. Sorry to disturb, sorry to disturb. Um, I've just received news that Mr. Anthony's investments have gone bad and that Mr. Shamar is insistent on collecting the collateral he's owed. Sorry, Priscilla, we have to leave. No, it's okay. I'll ask my cousin Bennett if he can help. But you go help your friend. Go. Bethany, Vanessa and I are going to be away for a while. Can you please reschedule any meeting I have coming up for the next month? Of course, of course, of course. Whoa, wait, where are we going? I'll tell you in the car. In the meantime, just get ready to leave in 10 minutes. Shamar, I've heard you're still not dropping the case on Anthony. <laughs> Why should I? I'm 
completely within the law. Anthony signed a legal binding contract. And he has failed to hold his part. Okay, if it's about the money point, I can pay back now. I can even pay double back the amount Anthony owes you. No, Anthony failed to give me the money and he must pay the price. A pound of his flesh and a pound of his flesh is what I'm gonna get. But by risking his life, he's going to die if you go through with this. All the more reason I shouldn't act my revenge on that good for nothing making man. Anthony was wrong about you. You are nowhere being close to a civilized man. That does not concern me to the slightest. Glad you could make it. Your friend is going to need all the support when I'm done with him. Come on, Shama. How could you want to go through with this? We have the money to pay you back. More, if need be. <laughs> no. Anthony signed a contract. He knew what he was doing. I am well within my rights. At the risk of him dying? Don't you get it? You're going to kill someone over money that we can give you. Where is the civilization in that? Stop, Bandile. Clearly, this man is full of hatred and anger. For some, these emotions come to them as easily as they do an animal. Gentlemen, my name is Venice, and I work for Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, however, says in his apologies for not being able to make it in today. But then, however, his colleague Paul will be taken in his place. If all is agreeable, then we can proceed. Yes, of course. Will you be defending yourself? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Could I please see the contract in question? So, according to the contract here, Mr. Shamal and Mr. Anthony, 100,000 Rand, and in the event that Anthony defaults on this loan, a pound of flesh would be rewarded to Mr. Shamal? That's correct. However, Grayson and I prepared, to absorb Anthony's debt with 10% 10 10 interest. Mr. Shamar, would that be open to this settlement? No. <laughs> the legal binding paper says a pound of his flesh, and a pound of his flesh is what I want. Wow, Mr. Shamar, you are correct. Wouldn't it be better to show Mr. Anthony some mercy in this matter? My client's acquaintances are willing to pay more than the original amount, which would nicely fit your pocket. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. A pound of his flesh. Well, that settles that then. In this case of Mr. Shama versus Mr. Anthony, you are rewarded one pound of flesh of Mr. Anthony. Of course, you would need to ensure that he doesn't sustain any injuries during this procedure or lose any blood. What? Oh, the contract doesn't allow that. So all you can take is the flesh. Anything more could be considered assault or murder. Uh, no, I, um, no, I will just, I will just take the money. The Shema, I am sorry, but according to our knowledge, you have offered the money on multiple of occasions, but you still insist on flesh, even today. I'm afraid you only have two options. One, which is you take one pound of flesh of Mr. Anthony, two, which is you get nothing at all. Go to hell, you whole lot! Oh, Mr. Shamar, before you leave, I've just spoken to my clients. They have agreed to not charge you with attempted murder, if you comply to their requests. <laughs> what? What more do you good for nothing life-sucking idiots still want from me? All that we ask is that you leave Santin. And in the event of your death, you leave everything you have to your daughter and her husband, Lungili. Isn't that so reasonable? Fine. I hope you all burn in eternity, in hell.
Ah, as always, justice favors those with the means to get it. What a shame that man had to give up so much just because we outsmarted him. He? No, no, no. I think the only people that deserve praise are those two lawyers, Paul and Vince. They saved us and were basically the only people who did anything. We were there for moral support. Does that not count for anything now? You two weren't even in the room. We are so underappreciated by them, my sister. Their lives would be so bland without us. Oh, well, well. Is it, if it isn't the beautiful Priscilla I've heard so much about. Oh, thank you so much for contacting your cousin for me. Even though he himself couldn't be there, the men he brought in were amazing. Honestly, it was a, like a live boxing match. We were losing and Jamal was relentless. And right at the second, Paul came in with a sneak attack and Shamar didn't even see it coming. And boom, we came out victorious. And all that guy Shamar could do is, is walk with his tail between his legs. It was fantastic. I'm glad to have helped in any way. No, honestly, those two were amazing. I thought Anthony was done for. Honestly, I was making funeral arrangements. Wow, you guys love these guys. What else did they do that was so fantastic? Let me tell you how gentlemanlike those guys really were. After practically saving my life, they didn't want any compensation. We offered them money. No. Offered them drinks. Still no. We offered them everything we could think of. And they still didn't want anything. They said something about Bennett offering them compensation enough. I hope we didn't leave them empty handed. I mean, they did save your life after all. Oh no, of course not. After much convincing, there was something that they were willing to take. Well... So, about that. The only thing they would take was the pocket square you gave me. What? The one that my grandfather gave to me before he died? The one that I gifted you so that we could pass it on as well? You gave the most important thing I ever gifted you to some random guy you just met? No, 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 it's not like that. Those two guys were going to leave and I didn't want them to leave empty handed. But I didn't mean to... Wait, am I missing something here? How do you have that? Do you really think your fiance is about to where they are without knowing a few things about law? Business and otherwise? Ah, uh, I'd be so lucky to have you two in our lives. Indeed you are. Hey, I just heard my dad's leaving, my father's leaving everything to us when he dies. Yeah, how did you guys make that happen? Because the last time I checked, the man wasn't happy about our elopement. Well, we have these two women to thank for that. Now, let's celebrate. To life. Bye. <laughs> to life. To life. As I was saying early on, I'm a proud graduate of the Shakespeare School Festival. I started in 2015 and I performed all the way up until 2018, which was my matric year when I graduated. And each and every year was a journey that we took. It was amazing. Every year the cast drew closer and closer together and it taught me so many great values such as empathy, teamwork, uh, working with others, self-respect and respect for everyone else in the cast. And it just makes my heart so proud to see all of these young, talented performers getting the same opportunities and experiences that I had. <laughs> now we understand that not everyone's experience with Shakespeare has been the best, but we would like you to take part in a conversation down in the comment section below. We would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on Shakespeare. Next up, we have... Se pilka parmi, ke se tunne hava. Kuit vagusi, mis valgus vogab sealt. 
on aknal jūlė, kui peikinė, he peikė, tapa kada kūrų, kes kada tu sist, haigi kahva tu et yksta niuf, on temast ilusam. Sa ära teeni seda kadedat. Se on mu da, se on mu armastus, o kui ta teaks, et on ta kõneleb, kui ta vaikib, ja mis siis pilg väljendab. Ma vastan pilgule, näha, kuidas puhkab põsksel kaunil käel, oleksin ma kinnas sellel käel, ta põse vastas. Ah, mind tõnnetud. Ta lausus midagi. O, lausu veel, sa helge ingel, kes teed kirkaks õõmu kohal hüljudes kui taiva saadik. Kõik suurelikud peaksid lumatult pea kuklaks jääma, tummalt vahtima, mis moodi mööda pilvi vooga vaita ühus purjetab. O, Roomeo! O, Roomeo, miks oled Roomeo? Salga isa, keelda oma nimest. Või kui sa, siis vanno armastas ning ka puletsiks kauem ma ei jää. Kas kuulan veel või vastan sellele? Vaid sinu nimes enda vainlas ne, sa selle tegi isa endaks jääd. Muuda nimi. Sest mis on man teki? Ei käsi, jälgi, ei silma tega suu, ei ükski nimu hoosake. Mis nimi loeb? Õis, mille nime roos, teis nime kandes lõhnaks oma hõrgulid. Kui siin droome jookse hüütaks, ei oleks sa vähem kaunis täiuslik või sul laumane? Loogu, sest mis pole sinu nimes? Selle eest mind võtta tervelt. Võtan sõnast sul, min hüü arm saaks risti nümber enda sellest peale pole Roomeo. Kes oled mees, kes komestab öö varil mu tunde valanguile? Nimi pidi, ei tea, kui speksin tutvust oma end. Ma vihkan oma nime, kallis pühak, sest sinu kõrvast on ta vajanulik. Mu kõrv ei ole seda sinnegi sussust või jõud, kui see häält ma tunnen, kas pole Roomeo see jaman teki? Ei kumbki kaunis piiga, kuid neid vihkad. Kus tulid siia ütle ja mis jauks? See müür on üle ronide lii kõrge, see paik on surm, sest mõtle, mis saab siis, kui näeb sind mõni minu hõimlane. Mind kansind üle armu kergetsiivad, sest armastust ei pea ka kivi müür. Kui näevad, siis nad sind tapavad. Sinu silmis valgub suurem oht kui kahe kümnes mõigas. Lahke pilg, kui pakkub, kaitsed nende vainu eest. Ei tahaks mingi hinna eest siin ilmas, et nad sind näeksid siin. Õõ, hõrb mu lüll. Kui sinna mind ei armasta, siis las ma parem suuren vihast, kui et jätkan elu sinu armuta. Kes juhatas sind, et sa leidsid tee? Kes armastus mind saadis otsima? Ma asks sa tead, mul praegu võrab näo. Mu põisil minu heb juhitaks näist sõnus, mida kulsid vast mu suust. Küll tahaks olla kombikas. Küll salata, mis sõldud salajas. Ei, jumala, ka visa, kus sa viskas, armastad sa mind? Ah, teanud, et jah. Kuid petta võib ka vandudes, sest armu tõudus, et peab seuski näljaks vaid. O, Roome, kui armastad, siis ütle auselt, eks? Või kui mind pead nii kergelt võidetuks, teen kurja näo ja jõi nõlda sõi, et sa mind tannuks. Muidu mitte eal. Kette end olen lealt armud. Võid pidada mind kirlaseks mõnd teki, kui tusu rüütul jälen siram neist, kes kavaldades külmust teesklevad. Küll püsud külmem paistaks minegi, kui sa ei kulnuks minu teadmata mu armu pihtsimust. En tändasta. Ja ära kerglaseks pea anda must, mis pime õhti pea valgele. Nii tõesti, nagu kastab innis kool. Kool ära vannu, koo on muutlik, ta keetas sõga kuuga muuda kuju, nii sama heetlik oleks siis saarm. Siis mille nimel? Ära vannu üldse, 
Vui, cu jūs tahot, enda nimelvait. Mu vaikse harda palve jumalus mausun sint. Mu hingi armastus. Ei, ervannu, olet kyl mu rim, kui tõine sabent minte rimusta. Ta on lik järsk, lik kiire, enned lik kui velgus sähvak, mis ka op enne vel, kui jõusi tõlda velgus. Arm, hea tööd. See armo punk, kui suvi hingab soja, või põieks puhkeda kui kohtume. Hea tööd. Hea tööd mu vaikse tõndsalikust su süda jagagu kui ühist reikust. Kas sa nii mind tasuta jätadki? Mis tasu võiks see täna saada veel? Su armu teotust oma vandu eest. Ta on sinna enne veel kui palusid, kuid tahaksin, et jääks ta anda veel. Ta võtab tagasi. Mis pärast küll? Et heldana ta veel kord kinkida. Vaid seda ikka, mis mul juba on. Mu heldus on nii äretu kui meri. Arm sama sügav. Antud rikkusest, vaid kasvab rikkus. Arm on lõpmatu. Preli! Julia! Sealt kuled häält. Mu kallim, hüvasti. Julia! Ma tulen, am! Ja ustavaks mõn teki. Või ota põsu tulen tagasi. Ennis, ennis, õõ. Kui det on õõ, siis kardan, et on uninägus õõ. Kui tu veetlev, et võiks olla tõeline. Kolm sõna kallis, Raume, siis tead ka hea tööd. Kui sinu armastus on aus ja siik saad või ellu, tööta sa siis homme selle kaudu, kelle saad on kusi ja millal toimub laulatus. Su jälge ette hõidan oma õnne. Maailma lõppu järgi ma... Julia! Tule on kohe! Kui aga mõtled halba, siis taevad pärast... Preili! Tule on ju! Jääd koha asjad, saagu must, mis saab. Mu hingi armastus. Hea tööd, tuhad kordselt. Arm, arm su juurde ruta mehinal. Kui poisike, kes koolist koju tõttab. End süda raski tall. Te koolist koju pooli rohkem ajaga võtab. et haugast veel kord siia meeletada. Mu neie põlv on tunn ja traustetu või muidu eho koopa lõhuksid, et minu omast kähedamaks jääks tal häel, mis üha korda proomaja. Mu hing on see, kes nii mu nimi hõiab. Roomaja? Mu pesalind. Mis keeles su poole saadaksin? Keel üheksa. Saadan kindlasti. 20 aastat läheb sinna aeg. Kuid... Mul meeles läks, mis jaoks siin kutsusin ma tagasi. Mind luba jääda, kui nii sulle meenub. Siis unustangi, et nii sa jäksidki. Vaid pean meeles, kui hea on sinuga. Ei saa kõiki muud, kui kodu unusta. Päev peagi koidab, peaksid minema. Hea tööd, nii magus kurba lahku, mis ma venitaksin hommikuni. Vaid mu süüda, armust üle voolamas, sind pihi sa konkon ootamas. As you can imagine, there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes. Check to Schools Festival was founded with the aim of improving language and social skills through the performing arts, workshops and training. The project encourages youth development, job creation, social cohesion, as well as the inclusion of children with different abilities. Now, please feel free to pause the video to grab yourself some popcorn, a drink, maybe someone extra to watch the show with you. But, Kanala, please I ask you nicely. Even if your star has already performed and on the screen, don't run away. Stay, enjoy, and support the rest of the show. Please welcome up our next group, Art on Fleek Organization.
Yebo. Quasi se pela, no malume bam kony na ba figa se go nage. Age ko e no lazlo gutun num pefmu. O kula e matunjin a kung kostas. Kongu bega wako, kangu nu in naga nu. Goba pela gu kate la gupin de gube sobala, uguba, na wa wunse lona e la ki putza, luguba ongas. Oto age, gina in dota na moksem se twe. It's on duguba ndaza. And Bonajukosi 
ubukosi lo busunga bona busha balala kuhle kwamazolo ebona ilanga kungekudala That is my name because I fear no danger For my heart possesses greater venom than the snake of Eden Oh eh kuthe kuthela owasi yo usikudleleni lapho ocashe khona I will stay low for now recruit Kent as my wingman and convince the stupid brother and sister of mine that's our father only have love for himself. Kent, Nkos. Ngim na we manje la pa ngoba ngia wazu wutu indo wa tema tote. Nkos ya. Akeko umuntu osiri wapendu la uli ya wapili. Kepa na akumina nawe. Sata ntambana. Umutaba hunga ando. Angazi nkosi yami. Aufisi ukwazi. Nkosi yami, ingeza na alo uta. Mina nguzobe sengi ipo nge. Uwe ene mele ngabe upete lapo. Nungta abagase gase, upa alo yunga bagi yu. Genga yezi mbige, kwa salu mkulu uyisi galige. Wanga bache ele bandi kwenye iso uguba ukosi, ubago keti. Uktata apilo nkosi yami. Kuba, umuka ba ngai nda ba ngamu funa la hambe ngakona. Ngamu chele la ngasi, agaule chela pagi mdo muka ba ngu giki busa na ba kakeendi. Kepa yena, wangu mbisu wangu kengis. Inga kuna mwa sumba na shapa, tingu tano dua mwa. Sabon of food. Who got it? Eh, she. Miss Consul is also got it. I bow and dot. Mamma was a hunch, I noticed in the Sibesinche. Eh, as a subcosin, as thing you don't have a fogaza. Lanel, you go sack the is alone to him. Jenga match. Ushanche? Potum, oh, yes, it's a soup. It's in potu. Gitu ni gue. Gitu ni gue ni. 
Ventana. <sighs> We've come to the end of our evening, but we hope that you had an amazing time and that you were blown away by all the performances on show. We would just like to thank all of our participants and our coordinators for their hard work, as well as we would like to thank all of our sponsors for making the work we do here possible. Remember to share all of the love and support on social media and from the Shakespeare team, we wish your family and friends a beautiful week or weekend ahead. And now, in the words of Shakespeare, Parting is such a sweet sorrow, my necessities are embalmed. Farewell, adieu, cue the credits. <laughs> <laughs>